Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this new playlist, we're going to have a deep dive into modern web development. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the fundamentals of web apps with a special focus on the developer console. The browser and the server communicate with each other using HTTP protocols. What is HTTP? Well, it stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. And how it works is very simple. From the browser side, a client opens a connection to make a request and waits until it receives a response from the server side. Now to see the basics of using the developer console, we're going to be using the simple web app, which you can find in the following link, which I'll also be putting in the description below. So now to open the developer console, you can either right click and click on inspect, which opens the developer console or you can use the shortcut Control shift i which also opens the developer console. So once you've opened the developer console, but the first thing you need to do is go to the Networks tab, and in here make sure that Disable Cache is ticked. What this does is it helps us see the change we make to our app immediately, instead of the browser showing us a cached version of our application. So make sure that Disable Cache is ticked. We use the Network tab to see the different HTTP protocols that are being made in our application. But right now, it's empty. What we need to do is reload our page. So you can either use the shortcut Ctrl plus R, or you can go to the top left corner and press on the Reload This Page button. And now, as you can see, we get two events. One is of type document and the other is of type PNG. Now to see more detail about each event, you can press on it and we get the following information. Under the headers tab, we have the general information of our event. So the request URL is the URL we gave to the browser. And the request method here is get. That is because we want to get information from the server. And the status code says 200 OK. That means our request was sent successfully. Now under the response headers, we can see that we got a content of length 320 and we got a content type of text slash HTML. That is because we requested a web page from the server. And if we go to the response tab, we can see the actual response we got from the server, which is an HTML document. Here we can see a concept called DOM, which stands for Document Object Model, which simply means a tree-like structure of our HTML document. At the top of everything, we have the HTML tag. Then inside the HTML tag, we have the head and the body tag. And when we go inside the body tag, we have a div. And inside the div, we have an H1, a P, an A, and an image tag. So this is the basic DOM representation of our HTML document. We can also expand and see more information about the second event we got. And once we click on it under headers, we can see that the request URL is the following. So we requested a picture and the request method was get. That's because we wanted to get the picture. And the status code is 200, which means we were successful. And under the response headers, that means the response we got back from the server, we can see that the more important information here, since it's a picture, is the content type, which was image slash PNG. So this has been a basic introduction to the developer console. And one thing I forgot to mention is in this course, we're going to be using the Chrome browser. You can follow along with other browsers as well, but it is recommended that you install the Chrome browser. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to show your support.